Okay, um, it is now, uh, let's just get a time here, it is now near, it's gone 25 past nine, so we're kind of at probably peak eclipse now. Uh, also, we are at peak beard, unfortunately. Uh, Vincent's come outside to join us and my neighbour is hoovering, so uh, all is good. Now, I'm going to try doing um, more of this colander thing. Oh, brilliant, yes, I think you can see... I don't think, I think we can see that, you can see all those, those eclipse, all those little um, funny shapes there, the crescent shapes are the, um, the, the eclipse basically. Um, it's very weird isn't it? There, if I put, yes, so if I pull that away you can really see um, the, put it out further. No, it's really quite marked now. I mean, that's just that. That is. Very, very peculiar indeed, isn't it? If I move it all the way back here, then you can really see that is that's amazing. And and bear in mind, I'm doing this with a random bit of paper and a colander in my garden with with a camera propped up on a bin. That is amazing. It's really strange because the light is quite bright in some respects, but in other respects it's almost quite dull. And I can imagine if you were a, a medieval peasant, or even, gosh, if you were a Victorian sort of person, I mean, you know, if, if an eclipse like this had happened in the middle of the English Civil War, then you would think they, they would think the end times had come, wouldn't they? And would have probably blamed it on a bunch of women from Lawford, to be honest, but um, yeah, it's... That really is, that really is quite something, isn't it? Um, anyway, seeing as no one needs to hear the racket my neighbours are making any longer today, I am going to stop filming now. Toodaloo!